Hi guys, Dan Felton here with our uh, my last blog post for our ARVR pilot class. In our last class, we kind of uh, buttoned up some details on a few different things and figured out how a, a few other things work. So I'm going to turn the camera around here and show you what we did. So if you can see my screen here, uh, we made a, a plane in, in the virtual world again and put in a few jump points and uh, we also found a, a few different objects that they had inside of the uh, Unity program itself. There's a flashlight, a couple spheres, a cube. Uh, nice thing is with this kind of stuff I can actually go in and manipulate it and move it and throw it. Um, add gravity to it and to certain things like that so um, one of the things that was made aware in this last class uh, was just the amount of code that it takes in order to do a function so in order to make something throwable all of that has to be listed in code which I had no idea I had no idea that those types of things uh, existed um, so I'm going to look at video games and, um, computer programming with a whole new appreciation after this class, but I am sad for, uh, for one specific reason is in that, um, I was not able to complete a project that I thought I was going to complete. I wanted to show this, uh, technology off on how we could use it in like the safety world or the medical world or something like that. So uh, I was, um, I know that in the certificate class, which is going to be, I believe about 96 hours of, of instruction. Uh, I believe that that's going to be the case where they have to do a project. Um, but there, we just ran out of time with only four classes in the pilot program. So Hopefully, uh, some people will sign up for that and update us on how that all goes because the possibilities on, the, on this are endless. So if you have some basic computer skill, know a little bit of coding and how all of that stuff goes down, um, jump in this class. It's going to be really, really cool. So talk to you later. If you have any questions, once again, it's dan.felton at kirkwood.edu. Talk to you soon. Take care.